Forget Aphrodite, we have another Greek goddess, Marina Sati. <laughs> Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. It's so great to Hello, meet everyone. you. <laughs> We're here in London ahead of your concert. What's it like to be here performing? Uh, actually, it's my second time playing in London. Um, should I look there? Yeah, let's okay, look this okay, way. Okay. I can see you in the mirror. <laughs> uh, so it's my second time performing in London. Actually, I got up a little bit sick today, but I, and I'm gonna do okay. I'm gonna warm up my voice and it's gonna be okay. Uh, I like it here, actually. Also, I've, I've been traveling many times because my brother lives here has been living since 2015, so I know the city a lot. And I'm excited. The show is sold out. Oh, I don't know if you know that. Incredible. So we're gonna go hard. <laughs> she goes hard, and so does Greece, because they chose you. They picked you out of all the talent. How did that come about? Uh, actually, it was something that we have been discussing with the National Broadcast uh, Channel for many years. Um, and I always felt that I wasn't very ready, and. I thought that you know, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't have like maybe the confidence to to deal with all of this. The the music, the video. I wanted to be ready to to learn actually from the process because I'm a little bit new in this game. I have I have only released one album, uh, so I wanted you know to experiment, to take the time, and I was like you know if at some point I'm gonna feel ready and I I feel that I have my beep together. <laughs> Uh, I'd love to do it at some point. So this year they proposed again, and I was like, why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> and the question everyone has on their mind is what will Marina Sati sing? Because there were rumors you got like hundreds of applications and said no to all of them. That's not true, actually. <laughs> That's not true. Um, yeah, so we announced the invitation, the National Broadcast Channel announced an invitation. So many people from Greece, but also from outside of Greece, submitted their songs, and then some of my some of my and our favorite songs from the applications. We contacted the people and we worked with them. Um, so I went with them in the studio, and actually it was very interesting because I I got to know many artists and also songwriters from Greece that I didn't know, oh. like lyricists and that I'm in touch anyway with them now. Oh, fantastic! Um, so we worked on the most, I don't know, the songs that we, we thought are more capable, not, not capable, but suitable, suitable. Yeah. Um, because also, you know, it's not a mat only the matter, a matter of the song, but how you feel when you go on stage to support it and, you know, to feel like yourself and yeah. put it out there. So we have picked the song right now. So you have the Eurovision 2024 song? Yes, yes. We don't have the final production yet. I don't know when this video is going to be out, but we have the song, yes. Oh, this is incredible. Can you tell us anything about it? Traditional, dance, ballad? Mm -hmm. Should I? We haven't even told the Greek people, but we can tell the people from the UK. Um, yeah, I can say, what I can say is that it's close to what I have been doing in my project. Okay. Uh, but I feel it's one uh, or some steps a little bit more pushing. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> so just to tell the people who may not know. Ooh. Gummy bears. <laughs> Delicious. Like, <laughs> mm, orange. <laughs> yeah. You've worked with traditional polyph polyphony yes. in your group Chorus. So is that kind of the direction, or is that a hint? Uh, I mean, look, I believe that everything we've done in our lives is like a puzzle of, how can I say it? Like the many dots mm -hmm. um, make you who you are. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've done theater, I've done classical music, I've done jazz, I've done, um, Polyphony, as you said, and choral music, which is my actually passion. Uh, not necessarily will you see it in the song, but I feel like it's something that you you, you carry inside of you, like your experiences in your life. Yeah. Even the fact that I used to study architecture in the past. Oh wow! Did you, did I you didn't know that. Yeah, I used to study architecture. So for me, like this synthesis and taking like many pieces, like to take to tell a story, 
to create something bigger out of smaller pieces and yeah it's something that I, I love to do and I have actually we have created a very good team for the Eurovision Act honestly uh, at first I didn't know how it was it was gonna be mm. because this whole thing uh, looked to me very big and a very big responsibility but the good thing what I didn't know is that basically the people and the all the artists that I have been admiring for years and that I always wanted to collaborate with them, we actually proposed to them and they were positive. So the fact that, you know, the team consists of s such strong uh, artists and creatives make the whole thing much more, f you know, flawless and uh, easy and creative and fun yeah. than, wh than what I had imagined in the beginning. Can we name check any of them? Alex says no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep that a secret. But you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. And one other thing, when we connect the dots of your life, yeah. we have this beautiful cultural tapestry. Your parents. Could you tell us a little bit about your background? Okay. Yes. So my dad is from Sudan, and my mom is from Crete. It's an island in the south of Greece. Um, so I grew up in Athens for the first years of my life. Then we went to Crete. I used to study classical piano and choir as I said uh, since I was five or six then I went to Athens and then I started studying it's okay that's Dimitri uh, my son <laughs> yeah. anyway so I then uh, when I finished school I went to Athens and I started studying also their music I took my diploma in classical singing did you, did you know that yeah. I actually wanted to be a soprano but oh. It didn't happen. <laughs> uh, although I am a soprano, but not like, you know, like an opera singer, basically. Um, I studied theater, I studied architecture, but I didn't finish that university. And then at some point I got a scholarship for Berkeley, which is a college in uh, Boston, Boston, New England. <laughs> not the old here. <laughs> um, and there uh, I went and I studied uh, basically arranging and production. And I feel like, you know, all this multicultural environment of America, mm. I met people from, actually my best friend at Berkeley was from Vietnam. Oh, wow. And I learned so many things about the cultures and um, other cultures and about music and uh, world music a lot. And actually that was like a very, I don't know, the point in, in life where I feel that I, it was a twist that brought me closer to what I'm doing mm. these years, you know? In my life so it's I love that you said world music because when we listen to your back catalog so many beautiful songs including that one very big hit European it was charting across Europe you know which one I'm talking about girl Omar there we go are you, are you scared to pronounce that? I, would, I would butcher it I would butcher it but it's a global sound which is very spiritual yeah and there's no border there's no border with you is that something how do I say this it's just very organic. It's not something you're having to calculate. It just flows from you. I mean, look, I believe that the traditional music from all over, d despite the country that you come from, all has something very common behind, which is, which is the experience from people's lives and, uh, you know, ev evolution and people uh, celebrating or mourning or dancing or connecting with the nature, being spiritual or celebrating with, you know, dancing. Mm -hmm. So for me, these, uh, how can I say it? This is like the root of every traditional music in the world. That's why you can find vocals, you can find percussion. Um, so I don't know, maybe that's why. Also, you know, that song, Man Bisa, Beautiful. was uh, like a pentatonic scale song that like the pentatonic scale is something that we can find in basically from Asia to Africa to Latin America. So it's a scale that speaks to the heart. Yes. You know, I keep looking at you and seeing Demi, the beautiful pop star Demi, this beautiful Greek goddess coming from within. Do you oh, see it? No. No, you don't see you. it. Thank you. I see it. I feel it. Sorry, I it. do people know your age or we're not allowed to say it? Oh, they, that was crazy. Oh, you're very kind. We keep it on the down low. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that was crazy. But that let's was, just say I need your secret, honestly. <laughs> had a few, I could have had a few children by now. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, 
when you get get to Eurovision, what do you hope the people take away? What do you okay. want them to remember about Marina Sati? Actually, um, it's not only something that I would like through Eurovision, but in general through the work that I've been doing. Uh... <laughs> Started on its automa automatic. How is oh, it? Bol boiling. Boiler? Gosh, you what create the flake of yeah. <laughs> inner heat. So, um, what was it? what was the Christmas say? Ah, what you want people to take away okay, yeah, yeah. from Marina Sati. So yeah, it's not it's not something that only through your vision, but on, also something that I'm trying to achieve through my project lately. Mm -hmm. And also these concerts that we've been doing around Europe and the tour that for me, I know that you know, people know these stereotypes about Greece, you know, the beautiful islands, the sea, the ancient monuments, the Greek salad, the feta, <laughs> the saranaki. But uh, for me, like, my dream would be to bring out, like, the new Greece of today, mm -hmm. um, the urban culture, obviously, because, you know, I, we all grew up in the city and being um, inspired by the pop culture and the rap culture, you know? So for me, this is what I want to ideally to ach mm. achieve. And to be, and to go hard and to do it like in a way that is relevant and competitive, in, not in a bad way, but you know, yeah. with the West also. Well, which, is, which has been, you know, a very big source of inspiration for all of us, and for music industry, for fashion, for, for dance, for everything. I think that we can bring our thing and bring it in the game and be, you know, as strong. I, I sense a competitive spirit. But not in a bad way, it's just that for me, I, I feel like we have so many beautiful images that maybe people don't know from outside of Greece. Um, and also, to be honest, it's, it's been hard for me to try to be, I don't know, to make my music and to make my videos and to, to collaborate with artists from, from Europe, from France, from the UK, like I collaborated with a director in the past. Uh, so, I don't know, I just, I just hope we, we can make something that is gonna speak to the people despite the language bar barrier. Oh, you know what, I'm feeling so much, of course I'm right next to you, maybe it's just the heat, <laughs> but I'm feeling so much positive energy and I think that will come through. You know, for me, I also said it in the past, for me, the competition part of your vision, I don't know what it means. Like all the artists that I've seen until now are very different and mm -hmm. they're amazing at what they do. So what does it mean to lose or to win? Like for me, the best thing is like everyone to go there and do what they are and to show what makes them different and, and be proud about it. And, and you know, like it's for me more like a festival the mm. way I see it is that. That's nice. Yeah, that's fair. And I think though you have, you're in a unique position because Greek Eurovision fans are so passionate. It's like you yeah, are their yeah. new queen for the <laughs> year and they'll stay with you forever. Have you felt that energy? Yeah, that's actually true. Um, that even in the last show that I did in Athens, mm -hmm. I saw like many new faces and many new fans. And I, I understand that it's, it's almost like, you know, there's someone to represent you and you are hoping through the artist, I guess, to to portray, you know, whatever also they, they feel and they mm -hmm. believe in. But for me, I, what I said before, I, I feel like show who we really are, like the younger generation in Greece, that we have this strong cultural background, which in, our, in the history in Greece, but also we're like modern and we live in an urban environment and we do fashion, we do dance, we do music, and uh, we're proud about it, and go out there and show it. <laughs> you do it all, and I have one request. Tell me. Can you tell us the theme of your song? Um, actually, can I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell me. You can be yeah. vague. You can... Uh, yeah. Vague, okay. Mm. Let me think, how can if she I... she says pizza, we have a problem. <laughs> but I'm assuming it's going to be something uh, lofty. Okay, I'm going to say it not exactly specifically, but let's say that luck. Mm. Let's say that. Okay. You can be my lucky star. <laughs> <laughs> no.
<laughs> not really, but uh, let's see. <laughs> it's not it's not a word that is used in the song. It's just like a very big uh, picture topic, let's say, somehow. Marina Sati, the crowd is outside waiting. I do not want to waste your beautiful voice. But a final question for you. Yes. Do you have a message for all of your new fans mm. outside of Greece and on weebyblogs.com? Uh, actually, what I said before, just be who you are. Do what you gotta do. Don't listen to anyone. You know better, for sure. And um, it takes, I don't know, struggle and risk but that's how new paths are mm. opened you know not the safe way but the hard way so go hard or go home <laughs> oh my secret combination it's a mystery to you you are amazing thank you thank so, you so much. much nice to meet you hi everyone hope to see you soon you're the best do you think so the best. <laughs>